Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. We are still on the Halloween DLC, just because it's fun, you know? So let's go ahead and jump in and get things started here. So we have Flesh Spawn, Eagle Strike, and Storm Hook. What a lovely cast of characters. Seeing more Halloween variants here than we did in our last episode. So what do we notice right away? We notice some pretty good damage on Storm Hook. Also decent life on our bookends here. Eagle Strike not really looking that appealing. No, no, no. Iron Foot's good. Firewalker's good. In the right circumstances, haven't seen Boomerang yet, and uh, Mega Jump I constantly underuse. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I see Greedy, and you know that I like Greedy. That's some really low damage though, so I think, uh, you know, for once I might actually uh, venture out away from the crutch, which is Greedy, and try to do something with Mr. Storm Hook here. So he has the, uh, is that the Reaver? Yes, it is. It says it right there in plain English. And that allows me to gain 3% uh, HP from kills. That sounds pretty good. And I don't think I've ever used a character with the Reaver, or I don't remember if I have. So what do we have going on here? A ton of money sitting in our bank from that last uh, really decent run that we did. So we have 850 for a blacksmith. I will do it. 900 for a blacksmith. Yeah, I'll do it. And I still have a little bit of change rolling around in my pocket so that I can go over here and buy some additional life. And that is going to tap me out. No, wait, I can actually, uh, yeah, I can upgrade my peace orbs. Oh, or I can't. I see. I mistook the little peace orb over his head for the uh, little icon that says, hey, you can pay me money. So let's get into things here. Here we go. All right. Getting in the mindset here. I'm letting the Halloween mood overtake me and I'm getting ready to murder. All right, so here we go. Candy corn coins being collected. We have uh, plenty of time to go the peaceful route. So we're going to do that to start off with here. Uh, well, we would do that if there were any pacifist orbs. I don't even see any more peace orbs on the whole damn map. So uh, let's go ahead and head over here and just trigger an alarm so we can start murdering fools. Ah, that uh, I do remember that. That little uh, skeleton face. I've seen that before when the, when you kill a guy. That is the, uh, the reaver effect, I suppose. Uh, so I took a suboptimal route here, missed some guys back up there that I should have probably been murdering, but uh, oh well. All right, and we have Daggers and Midas Touch. Uh, Midas Touch feels like one of those that we should use more frequently than I do. Uh, I do definitely suffer very often from too good to use syndrome, and uh, I need to not. I need to not suffer from that. Uh, so let's fall down and start murdering. And we are a necromancer, so we will create skeletons who will fall on spikes. But oh well. We can bring them into the world, but we can't always have 100% control over how they behave. You know, those kids, sometimes they just do what they want to do. There's a tempting key over there. I wonder if I can... Yes, all right. I made it without hitting the spikes, and in celebration, I am going to open that chest, which had a whole nice bunch of stuff in it. So we will hit our daggers here just for the heck of it. This is a thief. Yes, excellent. All right, I always love to free a thief. And we are at our boss all of a sudden, oh my goodness. Uh, so our thief didn't quite get a chance to deliver on his uh, gem, which is kind of the reason that uh, you free a thief, but oh well. Grab a quick bit of XP there. And uh, yeah, we should probably Midas Touch a few times here. Just because we will get a nice chunk of gold for uh, knocking down some of these golden bricks. And uh, yeah, one more Midas Touch, why not? All manner of coin going into our pocket here. And uh, we don't have a... Restore Shrine? I must be, it must be up there at the top. Okay. Well, no biggie. Whatever. We will move on here. We will move on. All right. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will blow and kill your hero. Let's hope not. 
All right, pacifist orb. Uh, I think we're probably not going to do much more pacifying this round. I noticed a potion in the last map. I collected one of three potions, but I don't remember ever seeing the wizard to turn them into. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Let me jump over here and grab this, because that was a crazy bunch of uh, explosions. And here comes another one. Don't hurt me. Oh, it hurt me. All right, well, luckily I was able to get down here. So let's see, I've always sort of uh, poo-pooed on these uh, these green crystal shrines, but let's read this and see exactly what it says. Activate this shrine and spend 100 coins to enable the teleport shrine to skip to level two. If you don't have enough coins, activating the shrine allows you to make a partial payment. So yeah, if we wanted to skip level one, we could do that by activating that shrine. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Fire, fire's everywhere. Uh, you know how much I love fire. I just, I really get along with fire really well. So I'm just, just gonna spam Midas Touch so, so I can uh, immediately refill my Midas Touch. Couple of coins there, well worth it. Uh, no need to unlock that. I'm gonna let that bomb explode before I actually venture down there. All right, let's not step on that fire. Let's go over here and knock that down. Let's jump in here and reap the benefits of the bombs. You know, bombs are kind of a double-edged sword there. You know, they do uh, definitely uh, hurt me and they spread fire everywhere, which I really hate, but they also open up a bunch of stuff for free. So I can't complain too much about that. All right, things are looking up. We are level 5, our high-end damage is 36, which I like the sound of. We are still one-shotting these guys. Bomb. Okay, Shrine of Gems, yeah, we'll definitely do that. I like the gems. Alright, Midas Touch, because, you know, why not? I need some guys I can kill so I can earn back some life. And we've got another bomb down here. I'm just going to kind of position myself where I hope I won't get hit. And I didn't, but I did get set on fire, and that took a whole bunch of my life. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's just throw out a couple more Midas touches here. We'll rejuvenate ourselves, and we are. Oh, it's one of those. I hate those uh, the locks that actually hurt you. No fun. All right, daggers, 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 daggers. Make my job a lot easier here, and make sure that I don't actually get killed because I am surprisingly low on life. And one more. There we go. we have got a Shrine of Knowledge here. Spawn four enemies, gain 50 XP. You know what? Let's do it. Wow, okay. I guess I got a total benefit from that. Maybe those enemies spawned in someone else's game. So if you just had four enemies flash in and murder you, that was probably me. You're welcome. All right, your haste will cause you extra harm. A bomb appears with each alarm. You know, I think in the last episode I said that uh, we had repetitious music, but I feel like now I've heard a different song on every level, so maybe I was just an idiot. All right, there we go. There's the bomb. The bomb we were warned about, and there it goes. Uh, yeah, key shrine, sure. Uh, I have four keys, but uh, I could see that number... Uh, you know, running out pretty quickly. So I will definitely uh, pop a key shrine. And there's a uh, bomb from that alarm that we want to uh, avoid. And there's another unintentional alarm set off there. Can we... Okay, no, we we, we got hit and we got uh, fire spread all upon our body. Not a big fan of that. Not a lot of opportunities uh, to actually... Another alarm. Oh my goodness. It's like for some reason I'm not seeing them. Although I am seeing that really badass blood moon in the background there. I really like that. I don't know if that's a Halloween thing or it's just something I've never noticed in this game. If I've never noticed that amazing moon, then shame on me. All right, let's try not to set off that alarm. Hey, we did it. Great. Oh, but our skeleton then set it off. So, yeah, no points for that, I guess. Uh, another key shrine over here. Sure, why not? I mean, at this point, the enemies are trivial. Uh, well, I mean, they're, they're a bit of a threat, actually. I take that back. I'm not one-shotting, uh, but... For the most part, the life that I lose fighting them, I get back from the Reaver, so, uh, you know, no real complaints there, no real reason not to uh, not to try and uh, kill some guys, get that XP, make sure that we're leveled up adequately, 
And that knoll is potentially going to teleport. Let's dagger these fools. There we go. Get ourselves a couple of minions. Uh, yeah, Midas Touch. Sure, why not? There we go. I like that. All right, and uh, we've got our daggers, so we might as well use them. Make our life, uh, life a little bit easier when it comes to the knoll here, and uh, yeah. That was pretty good. I didn't take too much damage from that. I can't complain uh, too much about that at all. Sitting pretty with gold right now, I think pretty, uh, pretty darn good for this point in the game, so... Let's descend. And another strange statue. Dodging bullets, lots of fun. The goblin mech has a great big gun. I've never killed the goblin mech, I don't believe, so... Uh, this could either be the end of our run or a historic first for us. So, uh... I'm hoping for the second one. Don't get your hopes up, though. Alright, that was a nice clutch jump there. More keys. I'm failing to actually uh, spend my keys because I keep missing chests. Alright, I need something to spend my keys on. That's something I could spend my keys on. Oh, that was a well-hidden alarm. I, I have to give him credit for that, for sure. Alright, Midas Touch. Because why not? Alright, I'm getting kind of beat up here. Let's get back on track. Uh, daggers, sure. Daggers again and again. I like a good dagger. Alright, get our life back. Uh, four enemies to gain 100 XP. We are uh, less than 100 XP from a level, so we'll do that for sure. Shrine of Health, eight coins, full HP, and three max HP. Uh, let's go up here and do this battle first, then we'll come back down and take advantage of that HP shrine. Starting to kind of respect these shrines a little bit more. I used to kind of poo-poo on them, but, you know, three life isn't a, a trivial amount of life. I mean, it's a very small amount. But, you know, I think I've probably... Uh, who am I to, to say any amount of life is small when I am probably going to die to the Goblin Mech? So what I would really love to do is just have an absolute ginormous band of skeleton warriors descending on the Goblin Mech before we get to him. Also, it would be great to have a few heroes with me. Uh, let's see, can I get back up here? Yes, I can. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to see what we have over there. Let's uh, not leave that one gold piece behind. I don't want him to feel lonely. Okay, this is an interesting uh, happening down here. All right, that uh, actually, that Midas Touch did pretty well. Got us a couple of uh, minions, and now we're going to hop over and grab ourselves a wizard who will very potentially help us quite a bit. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, there's ourselves a nice little corridor of uh, goodness here. I'll, I'll take it. All right, gonna have to hit those spikes. Oh, the shield helped me out there, I think. All right, let's not kill my wizard just yet. All right, which way are we going? Uh, yeah, we're going this way. Wizard, oh, dude, come on. Be cool, wizard. All right, that's the goblin mech trying to kill me. Already he is. And he's pretty much succeeded, and I am dead. All right, well, that was horrible. That goblin mech just, he juggles me with those shots every single time. He just kills me. I, I don't know the strategy. I feel like I've overcome every other enemy in the game that has given me difficulty, but he's the one, the one that I still haven't. Oh my God, Crimson Crescent. Horrible looking evil clown. He's not too much better. Jeez, okay. Ice Fist. All right. So the pickaxe is uh, minus 25 damage, but uh, you can attack to dig. That's interesting. So we spear, we've got range knockback and minus 20% damage. And we have an archer here. So as much as I hate to say it, uh, this might be my man here, uh, Crimson Crazy Clown. But um, I do like Greedy, and I did kind of miss it in the last run. Uh, yeah, let's go with Crimson Crescent. Now, this is potentially going to be a, an, a bit of an overflow episode here, uh, but uh, we're going to stick with it. We're going to we're gonna push through because we did die so early uh, on the other uh, game. So we're going to push through here. All right, let's descend into the Goblin Forest. Yep, let's go ahead and make sure that we are killing everyone we see if we can start our key collection. 
Okay, we got some archers down here, which uh, definitely want to give me a little bit of trouble. Like in this spear, also Smasher is really helping out. Giving me the ability to do uh, plus 50% damage when uh, I hit an enemy for the first time, essentially. So that is a big deal. Yep, hit that alarm for certain. There we go. God, it's such a creepy looking clown. All right, I want to harvest most of the XP for most of these enemies. Well, I want to harvest all of the XP from most of these enemies, but I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go. I don't know if I really want to... Oh, I was going to say, I don't know if I really want to bother with him, but my range is so long on my spear, I just absolutely destroyed him from afar. What do you need, my good man? I took out a dark, dark sniper a while ago. If you could defeat three more, I think I've already done that. Yes, I have. Plus two damage. Awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to take damage here. Yep. Well, I got plus 11 HP, so, you know, I'll say it was worth it. So many guys to kill. I love it. The only thing better for a clown than making children happy is being bathed in the blood of his enemies. And a simple boss here, luckily. So what do we have here? I haven't even looked at our abilities. I just, I looked at the creepy clown and his his uh, high life total and damage and just said, hey, let's do it. Uh, fire trap and open all. I, I don't think I actually, uh, I don't think I've had open all before. And I also don't think I've utilized it very well because well, I didn't use it at all. Uh, I think that would qualify as not utilizing it well. All right, hopefully the next level is going to give us something we can do here. All right, when the timer reaches zero, the bombs will blow and kill your hero. Great. That one again. All right, let's move. Let's move. Hello. Jumped in right behind me, didn't you? All right. Collecting keys, collecting money, collecting crates. Little bit of everything. Okay, we've got a uh, we got a an explosion imminent here. All right, that was not good. All right, so we only have one thing on the screen right now, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna use open all. Oh, it also unlocked a door thing down there too, so that not, not bad. I'll consider that a, a net positive. Okay, bomb is going to explode. I'm going to try to get away from it. I feel as though I successfully eluded it. Evaded it, if you will. Oh, right onto spikes. Just lovely. More bombs going off everywhere. I was dodging those, uh... Whoa. Oh, okay, did this open everything in the whole level? There are guys everywhere. Jeez, alright. Well, all of a sudden, open all is looking really darn good. So many things exploding. All right, so many guys on the screen. Jeez. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Lots of explosions. All right, all right, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's set a fire trap or two here, shall we? Oh, I've got bombs of my own. Take that. Thank you kindly, Ranger, for your assistance. Oh, never, no, never reach that key. That's right. Okay. Wow. Between the bombs and between my fire traps, I think we absolutely devastated that level. All right. Rainstorms make the water higher. Hates the something. Hates the something. I forget the... Hates the flames. Hates the fire. There you go. It says it right up at the top of the... Yeah. Well, all right. Let's move on. Let's never speak of this again. Level up. Get ourselves a crate. Let's see. I only see one thing on the screen right now, but it might be worth it to use an open all. Why not? Gotta remember to use that fire trap. That thing was actually pretty darn good. All 
All right, yeah, I think you'll, uh, with 15 keys, I think I'll pretty much open anything I see. Sure, why not? More enemies, more keys. You know, I can take a thousand keys, why not? I mean, you know, they're completely useless to me when I die, having not used them, but oh well. Okay, lots of stuff here. This is definitely an open all kind of kind of occasion. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you. I had some other plans, Paladin. You're just destroying the very earth beneath my feet. All right. This Joker could stop destroying everything for a second. We could set a couple of flame traps. Oh, do the flame traps hurt me too? Well, regardless, doesn't really matter because we survived and he did not. So let's go. Kind of trying to move a little quickly here since I know this is uh, going to be a longer episode because of the failed run. Unless you want to mess, mess about, there is another portal out. I always like these levels. Just the challenge of finding the other portal. And this is a great uh, open all opportunity for sure. Get ourselves a couple of wizard allies. And... I do believe we have successfully crashed Vertical Drop Heroes for the first time ever. Wow, yeah, uh, we're done. We're, we are crashed. Oh man, it was shaping up to be a pretty good run. Um, that is the first time I've ever had an issue with this game. Uh, but we are late enough in the episode here that I don't think I'm going to try to circle back around and start another run. Uh, I will just uh, lament Crimson Crescent and his uh, scary evil clown face and forever be haunted by the nightmares of him uh, poking me with a spear. All right, guys, well, I do apologize, uh, but this sort of thing is outside of my control. Yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. I have been Big Dave, and until then, take it easy.